Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to 1966. How's everybody doing today? What do we got going on today, guys? Well, I got like five deliveries. And it's not even 9 o'clock yet. AM, that is. I'll be back. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I am loaded up and ready for bear this morning and I haven't even got out of the house yet. Well, I mean, I'm just leaving the house now and they have uh, five orders assigned to me already. So I'm on my way up to the uh, location I worked yesterday and heading that way now, guys. So, hope everybody enjoyed the video that I did yesterday. I know it was a little bit longer. I'm going to try to go ahead and keep these pared down a little bit. I know I keep saying that. Let me know, man. Are my videos way too long? If they are, just let me know. You ain't going to offend me or bother me in any way, shape, or form. Just kind of let me know what you guys would like to see. Because I can always break them up into smaller videos or whatever. I know almost 30 minutes is a pretty big commitment of time, man. Big commitment of time. So, yeah. I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. I think I just need to quit yakking so much, right? So I had a really, really interesting comment, a good question. And I want some feedback on this from y'all, too. This person uh, asked me in the comments, and you can read my reply if you go to comments and take a look. But he asked me basically what constitutes or what, how can you pick a good logistics company or a good delivery company to work for? And I thought that was an excellent question, guys. So I thought I might spend a little bit of time maybe exploring some of my ideas. And I want you guys to throw your ideas into the mix too, man, because we're a community, right? So um, let's theme this one. What makes or breaks a delivery company in your opinion? And I'm going to give you mine. Well, number one, numero uno, would be consistency. Do they have the work to keep you busy? Um, you know, and there's a lot that plays into that. Like, what does it pay per delivery? Things along those lines. But I think before you even look at pay or anything else is, is the company reputable enough to keep you working? In other words, are they have they been around for a while what kind of contracts do they have with other vendors right uh, is it just a guy that's working on his laptop and doing the deliveries himself which may not be a bad thing is it a company that is pretty well established which may not be a bad thing may not be a good thing um, and there's some reasons why if it's somebody that's just starting out, maybe they don't have contracts that are going to last very long, or they have they don't have a good enough, a big enough reputation, or enough feet, vehicles. Right Talk! Park, Vista Boulevard. Talk in here. My GPS is so rude, but maybe they don't have the reputation to get the good contracts to, to be able to pay their drivers really what they're worth. You know. Take the next right onto Park Vista Boulevard. That's the first thing, and if they are big enough, Move stop a sign. Maybe they are a company that likes to lowball their drivers, right? I think when you look at these companies, get a list of them together, one thing that might be important or a good thing to do would be to go ahead and take a look at the reviews because who else is who else better knows? Now, I know delivery drivers and for former employees can all get a case of the ass and you know, not like the company and give them a bad review. But I mean, if you read enough reviews on them and you can see those on Indeed and other locations, I think Google, there's other places to go to look for these type of things. You can kind of get a feel. I mean, if you get 50 reviews and 10 of them are bad and the rest of them are good, then it kind of gives you an idea, right? So that would be the first thing I do to look into a company is what kind of reviews 
what kind of contracts, I mean, don't be afraid to call these companies and ask them, say, hey, I saw that you're hiring delivery drivers. I was wondering what kind of contracts you guys actually have, you know, um, ask some questions. It can't hurt to ask questions before you jump in, right? I mean, that's, that's basically what I did is I looked at reviews and I looked at companies that were big enough, you know, that had some contracts. That's an important, important part of, you know, you're doing your research, doing your due diligence before you jump in. That's number one in my book. I mean, I'll be real honest with you guys. I am in a tryout phase with the uh, logistics company I'm with now. Um, I am giving it 100% and I'm giving it some time to see if it's really going to pay off. If it's not going to pay off, then obviously I'll look elsewhere. Um, it's always good to be working, but you never really want to settle um, on a company and feel like you're married to a company. That's why the word independent is in there. Because the, you can find what works well for you. What works well for me and what I need may not necessarily be, whoa, really, dude? May not necessarily be what, uh, sorry, this truck with this trailer just pulled right the hell out in front of me. Um, may not necessarily be what's right for somebody else. Maybe somebody else is a retired individual and only wants to do it a couple hours a day or maybe 20 hours a week or something or maybe you're looking for full time so you know with me i'm looking for full time and i'm also looking to gain the experience and the knowledge so that eventually i can start my own that's the idea that's the dream anyway but to get there man you gotta kind of jump in and see what's going on but before you jump in look at some of those things like look at the reputation of the company look at and the next thing we'll talk about and what everybody really probably looks at first is pay. Does the delivery driver, I mean the delivery or the uh, logistics company that's hiring the delivery drivers have uh, a guarantee? Do they have a guarantee on a minimum of what you're going to make per order? Do they have a mileage guarantee? Do they have... Uh, mileage pay? Do they help you out with gaps? I mean, these are all things to consider. Some delivery companies are going to pay an hourly rate, like the one that I'm in the running for right now through the government. That pays a certain amount per hour, and they pay your mileage, and they pay for your gas to up to a certain point. So you're going to get reimbursed on top of making an hourly wage. That would no you know, stop aside. That would probably be the best of both worlds. But is it the best of both worlds? Because generally, when you take contracts like that, you are locked into working a commitment of a certain amount of hours per day, and uh, you know your flexibility. You lose a little bit of flexibility. So these are uh, important things to consider with pay. But I would say number one, make sure that whoever you're looking at has some kind of a guarantee. You're gonna make a minimum of this and a maximum of that. Um, you know, and we'll throw in perks if we have to have you do this, that, or the other thing. So, pay is right up there with reputation of company and what kind of work they have, right? And you know, what the requirements are for you. And when I say requirements, oh, stupid GPS every single time. I try to start saying something. Another thing to look at with uh, requirements, what are the, they requiring Take the of next you? Right onto North Freeway. Do you have to have a box truck? Do you have to have a cargo van? Do you have to have a certain amount of space in your vehicle or can you just use your regular car? Um, you know, what are you hauling? What type of uh, deliveries are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing like Tiff's treats like I'm doing right now, or are you going to be doing something that I'm sorry, guys? I'm looking over here because I'm trying to gauge traffic. Continue on North Freeway for one mile. Um, are you going to be doing something that is going to require a lot of space in the vehicle? Stuff like that, right? I mean, if you already have a van or, or an SUV or something like that, or a pickup truck, you're going to open yourself up to more possibilities than just riding around in a sedan like I've got right now. So what are their requirements of you as far as what you're going to be 
delivery is another important factor. And when, to be real honest with you guys, a little caveat here, um, I looked at really only. Use the left lane to turn left onto Heritage. I looked at really lane. only companies that had um, what they would pay uh, per delivery posted. Okay, and I did that because I'm new in the game, so I want to know up front. Use first, the left lane to turn left onto Heritage first of all, Trace I Parkway, looked up, then use the second from the left lane to turn left onto North Freeway. First of all, I looked up the company itself. Did they have a decent reputation? But I only did that if on the job ad posting, they had something that listed like, okay, we're going to pay you X amount of dollars to X amount of dollars, okay? I only responded to those to begin with because I'm new. I don't know who these companies are and I don't know uh, much about them. So I tried to pick ones that seemed like it was going to be a good fit for me. And also that we're hiring right away. Like indeed it'll say if it's a responsive employer or not. Um, you know, so I looked at all those factors in trying to choose the company, but that's just a little caveat I wanted to add in there, especially if you're new to the game and you guys correct me. Cause I could be a hundred percent off. Like I said, I'm a rookie. I'm a newbie. Um, but I looked into more or less making sure that they had some kind of a pay listed as far as what they were willing to pay you per day, per stop, things along those lines, right? Use the second from the left lane. All right, guys, I've arrived here at the location. I'm going to go ahead and run in because I got five stops. I'm going to go ahead and give them to them and see if I can get this rolling. We will continue with this topic shortly. Freeway, then turn right, right guys. To North Freeway. Back for part deuce of this video. Take the next right onto North Freeway. And uh, I can't get her to quit yapping at me. She's coming through my speaker, so I apologize for all the interruptions and all that. Da! Hope everybody's having a good day. We are still at 94 subscribers, so we are six away from the giveaway. Just Continue letting everybody know. That uh, the giveaway is still going on. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. We're giving away a hundred dollar Amazon gift card once we reach a hundred. To say thank you, to say thank you very much to everybody that allows me to enter their lives for a little bit and share a little bit of mine with uh, with you guys, man. It's appreciated. Trust me. Love you guys, man. So we are en route. Um, I'm on my first run and I have five deliveries to make on this first run. Now today's gonna be a little bit earlier of a day. My kids actually have um, a uh, event at their school this evening. So I'm going to be cutting out a little bit early today. Um, so, and I did let them know, plus, you know, being an independent contractor doesn't really matter. I can work when I want to and not work when I want to, right? So that's the good thing about this job, man. When you got family commitments and family responsibilities, guess what? You can do them, man. You can do them. So as far as looking for the right logistics company or delivery company to, uh, you know, look for how you go about it, that's some of my suggestions on that. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I might be uh, missing. That's that's a good basis to start out with. Um, and also throw throw some comments in here, guys, especially you guys that do delivery or any thoughts you might have on it. Because I, by no means or way, am any kind of an expert on this. I um, never pretended to be, or never tried to pretend to be. I. Uh, you know, I'm always open to thoughts and suggestions. Lord knows, just ask my wife. I miss a lot of things. But, yeah, so looking at the company, you know, what kind of equipment do you have to deliver with is important. Pay is important and what the reputation of the company is. As well as, are they going to run you, man? Is it going to be worth your while? And I realize that sometimes that can be kind of hard to gauge right away. Like, this company looked great on paper. But I don't honestly know. You know, it might be something that ends up not being that great. Um, you know, and that's why I'm giving it a good week or two to check into to see if it's something that I like. And it's something that pays me to do it. 
because Lord knows I'm not out here just to waste time and not make any money at all. That's not the point. That's never the point. Yeah, I like coming out and doing videos and stuff like that, but when the bottom line is, man, you gotta make money, you gotta make money, right? Oh, I will also tell you guys that I had a conversation with my um, dispatcher last night, and apparently for this location that I'm picking up at all the time, they don't really have anybody out here. So if I can kind of prove myself that I'm reliable and stuff like that, they're talking about maybe putting me on a guarantee. And dollar-wise, I have no idea what that guarantee would be. Uh, I just know that it would be something that would guarantee a certain amount of money for picking up at this store. Anyway, nothing's been set in stone yet about the guarantee, and there's some thoughts I have on that. Like, what does the guarantee pay daily? What am I actually tying myself to? Am I tying myself to the store for X amount of hours every single day, uh, all day long? Is it some kind of a schedule that I'm put on? And if it is, is it worth my while to do that? Or is it more worth my while to kind of stay a free agent, do this when I want to, and pick up other contracts? In a so, mile, turn left there's, on the North Blue Mount Road. you know, there's some balls that I'm juggling up in the air and stuff like that still right now. Um, but it's definitely a thought. And, you know, they said that they were impressed by how well I've done so far. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, I don't know what you're gauging that off of, man. And he said that reliability is really important. Road. Someone that's good, they can rely on and count on. And he said apparently they had somebody that was doing that with this store, but they ended up moving. So it didn't make sense for them to be able to uh, handle the store anymore. So they're kind of looking for somebody out in that area that can kind of guarantee that everything gets picked up. Does that mean open to close? If it does, it does. Now the guarantee, whatever that dollar amount's going to be, is going to um, not be capped. In other words, no matter what I do, I only make X amount of dollars. So whatever the guarantee is, on top of that, I can make more money if it's real Continue busy. Continue on North Blue Mound Road but, for three quarters of a mile. Man, it always comes down to that numero uno, right? That money. It always comes down to the green, the cash, the salad, the whatever, the Benjamins, the, I don't know, there's five million different words for it, but that's kind of what it comes down to. Um, doesn't it always, though? Doesn't it always? Oh, by the way, guys, I had somebody complain. About my vaping. Don't like it, don't watch. I saw somebody comment, um, you know, I made that comment yesterday about how far cars stay spaced apart from each other and sometimes it's a pain in the butt because you don't have enough room to get up and get into the right turn lane and stuff like that. And the comment I got back on that was kind of interesting. They said it's because there's been so many rear end accidents, people are staying further apart from each other. So is the idea that someone's going to come racing up behind me, hit my car, and I'm going to be too close to the car in front of me and cause like a chain reaction where I slide into the next car and make that car slide into the next? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to be a chain? Is that why people stay so far apart from each other now? Because, I don't know. You guys all know I haven't made any secret of it. I'm in my mid fifties. Continue on East and me growing up, road for five miles. I never had noticed people staying that far apart from each other before. So you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to make this an issue or anything, but I don't know. Comment, let me know if that's the reason why. It kind of makes sense. I mean, I'm not making fun of the person that gave me that suggestion at all. Please don't take it that way. Um, I just am not 100% sure if that's what it is. I mean, is that like for new drivers that are coming up in the world? Is that what they're training them is to stay a car length behind the car in front of you when you're stopped? I mean, I understand like following distance. I used to drive a big truck, you know, so I know about the six second rule and the eight second rule and, you know, how to do that and why it's important to not, you know, hug somebody's rear end when you're driving down the road. 
like those two Jeeps were yesterday. Just kidding. Um, so, you know, I get the safety factor behind that, but when you're stopped, I don't know. Well, guys, how's everybody doing? It's a little bit later. It's about 11.15 right now, and I am on my last delivery of the five, the first five that I had. So 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, um, I ran into quite a bit of traffic and uh, road construction, which really slowed me down a lot. So I'm running a little bit late on my deliveries. Not proud to say, but it's true. Um, but they had me running quite a distance um, again. So, you know, it's one of those things that's relative with delivery work. I am not going to go crazy and freaking, um, you know, do 70 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone so somebody can get their cookies. <laughs> it just ain't going to happen. So, uh, I'm doing the best I can with what I got, man. That's what's up right now. Hey everybody, I'm back again. Um, I just completed the fifth delivery on my first run for today. Uh, it's a little bit past 11 o'clock, not too bad, not too bad at all. I did have some traffic issues and things like that to, that I ran into, but beyond that, I can't complain too much, and uh, just letting my dispatch know that, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go for another one, man. Well, that's not good. My dispatch just said that they have nothing left for me, nothing else right now for me. I guess I cleared out the store when I did those five. I don't know. So I'm not sure exactly. She said she would let me know if she had anything going on ASAP. So I guess, um, man, never really been in this situation. I usually, they usually keep me running, running, running. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for now. And uh, see what we can see about uh, heading home. Maybe get in the yard mode, doing some stuff around the house, stuff like that. I don't know, guys. I'm, you know, I may end up getting another run, um, because I can run up till two o'clock this afternoon. And I told her that at the beginning. Now this is a different dispatcher <clears throat> than I've worked with before. So think she might run things a little bit different. I have no idea. I just know that. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything going on right now, man. Uh, so I <clears throat> am going to go ahead and end this video for now, guys. I hope that everybody did enjoy it. At least I kept the video short, I hope. I hope everybody enjoys it. I hope everybody has a great day today. Don't work too hard. Stay safe in this heat, man. Stay safe in this heat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this one posted. Uh, I've got some other ideas coming up here shortly, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget that we have the drawing coming up uh, for the uh, giveaway for a $100 Amazon gift card. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a lot of fun out here. I get a lot of good interaction, and we have a lot of fun in the community. You guys all stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. If you don't like the video, thumbs down, man. If you like it, thumbs up. Either way, just interact with the video. It lets YouTube know that y'all like the, or at least are watching the content and pushes it out there to folks so other people can see it and we can grow this community. You guys all have a wonderful day, no matter what you do in life.